BA2 is a subtype of Omicron. So, you know, the viruses continue to evolve and it's like a family with different branches. So Omicron was one branch of the family and, and then Omicron now has a subtype called BA2. What we know about BA2 so far, and we're getting more and more data is that it's more contagious than Omicron. And Omicron was the most contagious uh, COVID-19, SARS-CoV-2 strain we saw so far. So BA2 appears to be more contagious, but it does not appear to be any more serious in terms of the illness it produces. And Omicron was a milder virus in prior variants, and it does not appear to have any immune escape any different than Omicron. So our immunity, uh, the vaccines should have uh, efficacy against BA2. There's a concern that with BA2 being more contagious, we may see an increase in cases. So I'm very happy to report, as people know, right now in Northeast Ohio, we're, we're in a very nice lull. You know, we're seeing very few cases, uh, very few admissions, but people predict we're gonna see more cases. And there's a couple of reasons for that. There are some uh, surveillance systems based upon wastewater that's showing an increase in cases. And then the United States tends to lag a few weeks behind the United Kingdom. And the United Kingdom is similar in that they had an Omicron surge, their vaccine rates are same or a little bit better. And the United King Kingdom is seeing a modest increase due to BA2. So it's predicted in, in North America, Northeast Ohio, um, we may see a modest increase. It seems unlikely with this variant, we'll have you know crowded hospitals, crowded ICUs, but we may start to see a few more cases. In the United States, our vaccine rates may not be quite as high as some countries, but particularly after the Omicron wave, we have a lot of natural immunity. That's another reason people don't think we'll have a critical surge unless there's a very different, very new variant. I would be remiss, to remind people, particularly high-risk people, the pandemic is not over. We may see BA2 come back and cause some more cases. And particularly if you're elderly or higher risk and you're not vaccinated, it's not too late. And again, around the world where we're seeing these highly contagious Omicron and Omicron subtype BA2 spread, we are seeing serious cases in unvaccinated high-risk individuals.